good morning, Davon. Hey, Chris, how you feeling? It's feeling good. It's, it's good to finally get you on a podcast on this, this cold, cold, cold morning. Yeah. How you feeling? Oh, we about to get that snow, man. So, got to make sure we bundled up and got some food in the crib. Now, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. So, so with Davon, what the audience don't know, um, Davon has been supporting the podcast. He's been supporting me. He's been supporting the channel for a very, very long time. Um, we started a group, um, cybersecurity group, where he helps out. He's an admin. And um, and currently right now, Davon is trying to get in his cybersecurity journey right now. And uh, he's pretty much there. So we're just going to do this podcast today just to help guide him, in a sense, to help him get in. So, yeah, again, you know, appreciate you having on. So Thank you. So, you know, Davon, tell me a little bit about yourself. So I'm born and raised in D.C. Um, I'm a native. It's not too many of us here left. Um, oh, for real? Yeah. Uh, raised by my mom. I have an older brother. We're eight years apart. He's also in cybersecurity as well for the military. And I'm just, like I said, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, and I see I see you have the cure of sickle cell now. You're also a sickle cell warrior also, right? Yes, sir. I am a sickle cell warrior. Um, so there's different types. My type is SC. Um, spent a good amount of time in and out the hospital. Might not look like it, but... Yeah, but we're here. Yeah, you two warrior, and you're still fighting for sickle cell awareness. You're still fighting in your career field. So can you tell me about, like, because, you know, I know where your story is. So can you try and kind of currently tell your current story on how you, you know, what's your work, what's your work history like? So work history primarily is customer service background. Um, I've started uh, working for the government back in 2013 as a custodian. And that's how I was able to get sponsored and just been working ever since then. And, yeah, I'm still a government contractor right now. Yeah, and I love that because, like, as working as a custodian, you was able to get your secret clearance, right? Yes. Okay, so you got your signal, and you was able, humble enough to take that role for now. And then um, as you were doing the role, what, what at what point did you want to get into cybersecurity? So I would say it started last year in 2024, maybe May, um, just stumbling across different content on Instagram and YouTube and, you know, doing a little bit of research and like, oh, this is interesting. So started diving into that. Yeah. And then, like, for example, like, you know, people always what, what was your reason wanted to get into cybersecurity or tech in general? So tech in general, I've always loved technology. I used to work um, at Boost Mobile for the younger generation, um, you know, selling cell phones, activating them, things like that. And I um, always loved doing like technology. So I guess I kind of fell back in love with the idea of working in tech um, technology. And now I just finding out more about cybersecurity because again i'm just brand new to the space and didn't know there were so many people that look like you and i are you passionate about tech cybersecurity social change join the tech woke movement on patreon get exclusive access to discussions on emerging tech trends cybersecurity insights and valuable resources to help you get hired in tech learn from others in the community exchange ideas and gain skills that will help set you apart whether you're a developer enthusiast or looking to break into the industry this is your space support the movement stay ahead of the curve and be a part of the change join us today on patreon forward slash tech Woke. i see you there yeah and then especially in the dmv area i know you've been seeing so many people in tech uh and especially cybersecurity in the area does it help motivate you to see that you had a chance to get into it definitely especially by being in dc where this is a major hub for a tech space so i think we have a major advantage of being here already okay yeah yeah so we're gonna break this down for people that's trying to get into cybersecurity. we're gonna break this down so we can help guide you you know and help the audience understand like how to get into this field so currently uh what do you want to do in cybersecurity? right now i'm still evaluating which road that i want to take so I would say leaning more towards cloud-based um, technologies, AWS. Okay, so AWS cloud-based technologies. Okay, um, like, but why specifically do you want to do that role? Uh, again, with the cloud, there's so many opportunities, and it can be done anywhere on the planet. So I think that's just something that I want to do. So it's never going to go away. 
Facts. Um, I would say, and you always have your clearance too. Like in the government space, um, cloud is uh, it's it's on the up and up. They're transitioning to the cloud. Mm-hmm. AI is a good one. So I'm glad that you're focusing on an emerging technology that you're trying to to get into. So we know what step you want to get into. Yeah. So what have you been doing to try to get into this field? So right now I'm currently enrolled um, in CC Prep. It's a school in DC. Currently I'm taking CompTIA ITF and then I'll be moving on to A plus. Then finally I'll be doing security plus. Um, and then after that, then I'll start looking at other certs like um, AWS uh, or Linux. Okay. Yeah. So from what I see, you already have your, your you have your clearance, mm-hmm. number one, which is great. A lot of people, it's hard to get a clearance in this field. Yeah. Okay. So you're in school. You're currently working on, say, what was the first one you were working on? So right now I'm doing CompTIA, ITF, which I is see. IT Fundamentals. Okay. ITF. And are you going to, through this program, uh, will you get a Network Plus also? So I can get a Network Plus as well. So after A Plus, I can go either do Network Plus or I can do Security Plus. So I'm, excuse me, I'm just going to go do Security Plus since I'm already in the government space. Yeah, I understand. What I will recommend to you, mm-hmm. um, for a lot of people that's trying to get into the government space, because I work in the government space, the, um, the ITF, mm-hmm. um, the A plus is not as valuable right. in the government space because with the ITF and L, those, there's more for like IT. Right. You know, since you're trying to get into cybersecurity and especially into the cloud, I would highly recommend that um, first off, you just start working on your security plus. You right. know, go straight to the security because when you, you get your security plus, you can straight get a job. Right. And then um, with also with uh, security, then the network plus is just the fundamental foundation of the network, which you're trying to get to the cloud. Right. So the main thing is just uh, creating a roadmap on mainly how to get into cyber. So you're you're on the right track, and I love what you're doing. But you know, so how long is this program? Do you have to get those certs? Do you I have to. There's a okay. prerequisite. So I have to do ITF first, and then A plus, and then after that, I can split it off to do network or security plus. So. We have to work the process. Okay, yeah, I got you. So I understand you paid yeah. your money, so you have to do it. But um, just want to keep that for the audience right. also. Okay, so the next thing I would say is when you transition to cybersecurity, sometimes you already have transferable skills mm-hmm. that can transfer over. Now, and I understand you want to create a go to the cloud, but sometimes it's good to create a, a roadmap. So mm-hmm. the main thing is just transferable skills. The first thing I'm going to do, I've been looking at your resume. Actually, I got it pulled up right now. I'm going to um, talk about it a little bit. And I'm not going to talk about any jobs you work for, but I'm just going to just, you know, kind of go in. So I see you worked at uh, Apple. Um, you did a lot of things, scanning images, um, managed daily situations, things like that. You also worked in the office. Um, you worked, you did a lot of things like IT, just things that, you know, that can transfer over. Mm-hmm. And administrator and assistant, things like that. And all those skills, soft skills transfer over to cyber, like mm-hmm. talking to people, you know, emails, right. managing managing management things like that helps transfer over to cybersecurity. So if you're trying to get in cybersecurity, it's different like you can do the cloud, yeah, but you got to start creating the roadmap. So like for example, like when do you we got to first come up when are you trying to get into the cloud? You said like, when? Yeah, when. So a year or two year? I would say within a year's time span. Okay. Are you open to uh, other tra- cybersecurity roles or that's kind of the Abs- main one? Absolutely. Like, for me, I'm still brand new to the space and I'm really just trying to figure out my way. So, um, again, cloud stuck out to me, but again, it's not set in stone for me. Okay. But, okay. So, I would consider with your background, also, risk management framework, that's a probably an easier transition okay. if you just want to get, you know, just to get the fundamental knowledge because working in the office, talking to, doing emails, Managing things, that all transitions to RMF. Uh And then back to the cloud, okay, say if you was trying to get in the cloud, say I will push it out like two, three years. Oh, just just two years, just to give yourself some time. Like to get into the cloud, first you got to give that set date. The second thing you got to do is what are the skills required for the cloud? Um, For the network plus, um, you can start doing labs, um, packer tracer, things like that to slowly get you the fundamentals. Um, just get some of the cloud certs, slowly start re- learning Red Hat. Yeah, that's a plus. You have to learn okay. Red Hat. Start learning data. 
Because if you get into the cloud, you got to know all that. It has to bunch all together. So there's different roles you can do on your journey to it. Like, for example, you can start off as a network engineer. Okay. Or you can start off as IT. And, I, and I've been talking to you. You was telling me that you was uh, you got some interest as being um, a, a help desk specialist. Yeah, definitely. Just to get that fundamental-based knowledge of IT, just the service desk role or uh, support role, I think that's always a great starting point if you're brand new to the space like myself. Okay, so like, okay, so say we give it, so we're, we're just going to say, do you, do you want to do RMF or do you want to do uh, cloud? Just, we're just going to use an example. Let's stick with cloud for right now. Okay, so we're going to do cloud. Say, it's, what's today's date? Uh, January 4th. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's 2025. So say if you want to get it within a year, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say January 5th, 2026. Okay. So you already have everything in place. You got your clearance. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're currently working on your search. When's the deadline you think you're going to finish all those search? I should be done by the summer of this year. So I'm just say May, hypothetically. May 2025. May 20. I'm going to say 24. Okay. 2025 okay so you you got okay so you got your um your search at that point you okay. got your clearance mm -hmm. okay the first thing i would just say either focus because you, you said that the role didn't have network engineer so in my classes so there is a uh, network plus or security plus you can do after a plus okay so i would focus on that network plus. network plus network plus and security plus but the network plus is going to kind of get you guide you what you need to know Okay. Yeah, because it can help you also become a, like a network admin early. So I would just focus on network, the network plus. Yeah, network plus to okay. kind of guide you where you need to go. So, so you have your network plus. Okay, so you become so your second the next step is probably like May. Okay, say like June. You have your network plus. Mm -hmm. June twenty twenty. I'm just gonna say June fifth. And we're just doing hypotheticals. Yes. You have your your network plus. Um, I would start learning. Uh. Also, Red Hat too, and just start doing labs on the uh, on the cloud. You okay. know, just kind of learn the cloud. Just start doing network things that that can help guide you. And then also, when you're doing all this stuff at this time, just start posting it on LinkedIn. Just anything gotcha. you do, like any accomplishment, just post it. And then also on LinkedIn, I would just start uh, following everybody that's in what you're trying to do and okay. post it because they're going to be watching. Trust me. I watch LinkedIn. I see some yeah. post on LinkedIn, and if you're guiding it, if you're doing something, it's going to help guide you what you need to do. So. Start doing no skills, posting it, um, what you need to do. You already have your clearance. And then next thing, um, you're going to start applying to jobs. Mm -hmm. So for network admin, you know. So network admin. you're going to start, I say, July, you're applying for jobs. I would say to get a job in cybersecurity, I apply for almost 300 jobs. And keep in mind, it's a lot of competition now. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's not a cakewalk, people. Yeah, it's not a cakewalk. So just start applying to, like, 10 15 jobs a day mm -hmm. i'm just saying because you got you got to make sure and then as you're applying to jobs make sure you building your resume and putting those transferable skills and just putting all your stuff to help cultivate your resume because which what i would do too is like when you're looking on uh you uh indeed for example mm -hmm. just start building your resume based off what you want to see for a network admin okay. and then after you get that role you know, do it for some time and then slowly still building on your skills over time, learning the cloud, still posting your projects mm. because that's what really gets you a job. Post your box on LinkedIn, building your network, going to conferences, doing what you have to do. And then probably January 2026, you probably have what you're trying to do. So. Sound advice. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, would you have any more thoughts or questions on that? I think you laid a great foundation out for me and for other people that's watching. Okay, so... Yeah, it's good to have you, Dave. On I hope we answered your questions, helped guided you a little bit more. Um, you're gonna put your resume. We're not gonna put all the you know the yeah. names and stuff, yeah. but we're gonna put your resume so people can see. But overall, you're you're pretty much good. You have your security plus. Mm -hmm. You have your clearance. You have a solid foundation of skills you're trying to learn, and you have kind of a sort of roadmap you're trying to hit. And if you don't have a roadmap, you're never, you gotta make sure it's there, put it on your calendar to kind of help you make these checkpoints because this field is hard to get into, and you gotta make sure. You're doing those things to get into the field but yeah i mean I'm, I'm glad for you coming on i hope this helped a lot of people yeah definitely i know it helped me so i wanted to just thank you again i love it so remember everybody that's watching the podcast remember like the video subscribe to the video comment down below if you have any thoughts or feelings remember check out the newsletter also check out the tech woke merch store and then also check out the tech woke patreon if you want to get any of these videos ahead of time 
Remember, everybody, get 1% better every day. Peace out. I'll see you on the next one.